So, you feel like you've hit a wall. You were adding tons of weight to your total every single month. Things were going fantastic. Physique was looking juicy. But all of a sudden, you feel like you can't make any progress. Your weights are stagnating from week to week. You end up feeling tired for your workouts. Sometimes you may even go backwards. If you're a beginner to intermediate lifter, and this sounds like you, keep watching because I've been there and I want to show you how to get back on track. So what could be causing this slowdown in progress? Well, when you first start training, you can make progress by basically just showing up to the gym. No matter what you do, you're going to make some newbie gains and you're going to see some progress in your weight and your physique. Depending on who you are and how your genetics are looking, this could actually get you quite far, even with bad programming. But the mistake that I made, and many of you may also be making, is maxing out too often and trying to just hit ego PRs. This is an issue for a couple of reasons. First, it doesn't allow your body to recover properly. Um, when you max out, it can be really exciting, but it takes a lot out of you, and it can have a negative effect on the rest of your session and the rest of the week, to be honest. Even if you don't feel really sore, it drains your CNS, or your central nervous system, and your power output is going to go down for a day or two um, as a result of that. The next reason it's a problem is because maxing out is probably the most likely uh, cause of injury in a lot of cases. It's, it's the most dangerous thing you can do in chain, and um, if you push yourself to the limit too often, you can accidentally go too far sometimes and hurt yourself. And if you get hurt, it's only going to stall your training for a period of time, depending on how bad the injury is. And then third, which is the idea that I'm going to focus most on, for this video is the fact that doing your maxes all the time isn't actually increasing your strength but instead it's actually more of a way to test how much progress you've made and display your strength. So we've decided what the issue is but how are we going to actually fix this? Well you might not like the answer and I didn't at first either but really the best way to fix it is to check your ego and drop the weight for more of your sessions. Like I mentioned before, maxing out isn't really increasing your strength, it's more like testing it. So the real way to build strength is just to get your damn volume in, bro. And it really should be high quality volume too, which is why you should in have to initially drop the weights and get some uh, weights that you can really manage properly. If you want to focus on purely strength, I would recommend doing most of your sets in 3 to 5 rep range and getting in at least, I would say, 4 sets per workout. Um, however, if you're like me and you really enjoy the combination of bodybuilding and powerlifting, I would recommend to run your training in phases. So start with like a hypertrophy focused piece where you're still doing power lifts but more in the 5 to 8 rep range. Then, after you kind of run the whole course of that, you're going to switch to another phase after a deload, where you do 3 to 5 reps, and then deload again, and then uh, do a peak, where you'll eventually get to max out. So we finally do get to max out, but you just have to build up to it a little bit more. And then, you're going to want to start out with a relatively easy weight where you can leave a couple of reps in the tank and then over the course of a few weeks or months increase the weight and the effort level gradually so you're getting really high quality volume in and then you're still making progress over time so that's really the key is to start at a manageable weight and then just apply progressive overload from there now I should put a disclaimer in to say that um, everybody may not be able to recover initially from a ton of volume if you're not used to it so do be careful with this you're gonna want to apply only as much volume as you can recover from and then increase it over time and there's a lot of benefits from switching your training to this style uh, first of all you are gonna get more jacked because more volume is as long as you can recover from it is gonna result in more hypertrophy you're going to get more practice with the mov movements because you're doing more reps. Your form's going to get better because you're using more manageable weights, so your form's not looking scuffed every single rep. And then it's just going to be better for long-term strength gains because you're not going to get hurt. You're going to make consistent progress. It's just going to be better. So 
So, you may be thinking to yourself right now, well, that doesn't sound like any fun. I really like maxing out. It's what really gets me into training. Um, just getting that rush from the new 1RM one one Max. But, I thought the same thing for a while, but you just have to trust me. Like, if you try this out, you will you will learn to enjoy it just as much as doing singles all the time because you just have to kind of change your mindset it's all about the mindset like boog says you know if um if you think about your volume prs as new prs like they are rather than just new one rms then you'll basically be hitting prs almost every week in some cases um Personally, I was able to pretty much hit PRs every single week if we're considering volume PRs. Um, so, like, for example, I would I would do a weight, say, 275 for a 5x5. Five five. Then the next week I would do 280 for a 5x5. Five five. It's like, well, I've done, like, 350, but... So, like, it's not actually a new weight, but it's still better than last week. It's still a volume PR, so you just have to kind of think about it like that, and... I guarantee just seeing the consistent progress will be just as fun. So, here's what you actually should do. Um, if you're currently making these mistakes, you should take a deload week, so you're starting off fresh, then start with a higher volume phase where you do 5-8 to eight reps with a manageable weight that you are able to increase week to week, so don't beat yourself up on week 1. Then once you start to feel beat up again, take another deload, run a strength phase, doing your SPD lifts in the 3-5 to five rep range, and then again with an, a reasonable weight that you can increase. And then finally, after another deload, take a peak phase where you finally get to max out. So we do get to max out eventually, but it just takes a little bit to get there. And I guarantee that you will make huge jumps on your, uh, on your maxes if you do this correctly. Now, it will take a little bit more time, but it'll be safer, you'll make huge jumps on your maxes, and you'll get more hypertrophy in, so you'll be looking more jacked in the process too, so that'll be fun. So if you are interested in power building, a uh, combination between powerlifting and bodybuilding, like I am, I would recommend doing a decent amount of non-SBD accessories in addition to your normal SBD workouts, just to keep you looking aesthetic, you know? Um, you gotta make that physique progress as well. But I would add a note to say that in the peak phase, that last phase where you are going to be actually maxing out, you're going to want to cut down your accessories and your volume a decent amount. Um, you're going to cut your reps down to like the one to three, mostly singles and doubles kind of range, and then cut out most of your uh, bodybuilding type accessories. And then you're just going to really hone in on your technique and just your one rep max strength for that phase. So this was how to actually make gains, pass up all your friends in the gym, make some crazy progress on your lifts. Um, if this helped, please feel free to leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content.